Hey everyone, welcome back to the Prepare Your Grown Reviews YouTube channel. We review books, games, movies, and TV shows. Today, we will be reviewing The Mandalorian, Season 2, Episode 6, Chapter 14, The, Cha the Tragedy. So boys, non-spoiler thoughts. Nat, you first. Yeah, well, I thought it was a really good episode. Lots of action. A good amount of characters came back, you know, showed their faces. Got to see a bunch of action. And it was just overall a really good episode. It was really fun to watch. Yeah, totally. I agree with that wholeheartedly, actually. Um, the action was phenomenal. The acting was pretty good, per usual. Um, and the big, the big thing for me was this episode, even though it was only 33 minutes, did a really good job of packing a lot into a short amount of time and leaving the door absolutely wide open for the next two episodes. Like, we now have, like, a couple different directions that we can go and it sort of leaves us and the rest of you sort of guessing okay what's going to happen next where are we going to go right who's who's going to come back because after this episode to be quite honest with you nobody's nobody's out of the out of the picture to be totally honest yeah i'd have to agree with that like this episode covers a lot in its short runtime like you got character development you got reveals You've got an action set piece that spans most of the episode. It was, it was great in my opinion. Like this episode just had so much to offer for every different part uh, that people like in TV, every part that people like in Star Wars, like it's got it all. It, it was just, it was a great episode that I think showed what makes The Mandalorian a strong show overall. Like it was action packed, funny, yep. it had some heart. Like it was, it was a great episode. Yep. So, I think sure. you go is good for non-spoiler thoughts. Yep, that's that's all I got. Yeah, it was a it, really. yeah. pretty good episode all around. Mm -hmm. Good enough. Good action. Good okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so we are going to go to spoilers now. So welcome everyone to the spoiler section. So, the, we're going to start this by going. Order, the chronological order. So let's just start off with the beginning of the episode. Any thoughts on that, boys? Um, sure. I'll I'll start now if you want to throw that to me. Um, my sure, biggest yeah. biggest thing I take away from the very beginning is we get to see some really strong character development from Mando. It's sort of a different different side that we haven't seen almost any of. In the fact that he's very soft, he's very emotional. It's it sort of takes the tension of Mando down like eight steps and he's sort of more in that sort of like fatherly role for a few minutes there where he's just he's sort of convincing himself that he's that he's gonna have to let Grogu go real soon right so yeah I'd have to agree with that like we gotta see a little bit of comedy in Mando a little bit of laughter when he was testing out Grogu's name and just seeing him react to it practicing the force like and the sadness of knowing he's supposed to give Grogu away. Like it was, like you said, trying to convince himself, like yep. he, it was, it was just, it was, a, it was an interesting side to Mando we don't usually get to see. For sure. Like, so I, I enjoyed that opening. I thought it was a good, a good way to ease us into the episode. Yeah, absolutely. So following that, we arrive on the planet. I can't remember the name right now. Tython. Tython, good, good job, Daily. Um, so on Tython, we get to the temple with the rock, and um, Grogu is put on the rock, and then at first, like nothing seems to happen. Like, no. what was your reaction to that? Did you think like nothing was going to happen, or did you think it was delayed? It was more delayed, honestly. I think uh, it was really funny watching Mando just go around the rock. Be like, if there's a switch, there's obviously a switch or a lever or something, you know, some like mechanical thing, not you know, yeah. worrying about the force being an actual like component of all that. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the strongest planet with the most force supposedly, but no, there's gonna there's gonna be there's gonna be a little lever, a button you can press, Mando, to turn turn the machine on. It's gonna work. You just gotta find it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't think he completely understands how the force works yet no so i'm not surprised he doesn't he shouldn't he doesn't i mean he wouldn't really know right like he was never part of no. that era nope not at all and i think no. i think that really reflects when he um tries not once but twice to uh go through the big barrier that launches him like mm -hmm. for sure 
Yeah, like, literally. First time, it's like, okay, I understand. Second time, it's like, come on. Bro, that's on you. Yeah. <laughs> come on. You, like, you, we knew what was you, happening. You know. <laughs> yeah, literally. So then in the distance, we see Boba Fett. His ship comes in, and it's mm-hmm. him and Fennec from episode five of last season. Yep. And they are now working together. And I, like, none of us called that Boba Fett would be back. If you remember back to episode no. one of this season, we mm-hmm. all said he wasn't going to be back this season. Mm-hmm. So that was a big surprise. And yep. honestly, it was a welcome surprise. He was awesome in this episode. Yep. Absolutely. He kicked some serious ass. He did. It was, and I mean, like, he, him and Fennec sort of controlled this episode more than we've ever seen from like secondary characters. Like they have an incredible amount of screen time in this episode comparative to what we've seen in the past, where even if we get some major secondary characters, it's still focused on like the cameras on Mando all the time. Right. So I thought that was a really cool touch and sort of a cool tribute to bringing him back. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I'm like, they have a really good, surprisingly, like, really good teamwork together. Surprisingly, I, don't know, I didn't expect them to like work so well together. Um, the reveal of Fennec, like, like about to snipe uh, Grogu, was a uh, really <laughs> like it, it was funny. It was like yeah, it was um, it was a nice comedic relief at the time. And then uh, the reveal of how um, Boba Fett healed Fennec through like machine stuff was that's just an oof, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, your insides be all metal like that. That would suck. Yeah, it was. It was sort of it was it was it was pretty cool that they showed they showed that they're like that that's that's how we did it which doesn't really surprise me knowing knowing Boba Fett in that that end of the world so exactly yeah how about his staff thing like his Tuscan oh, Raider staff I love that thing it that was thing amazing that does some serious damage Holy. it like destroyed all the stormtroopers the armor was like the, their armor got wrecked like just destroyed. It I've looked never like seen that happened before. It looked like plastic. Oh, it did look like plastic. Literally. Like when you like drop a plastic bowl and it breaks. <clears throat> that's what mm-hmm. that's what it looked like. It was just... I've never heard such a such a crunch <clears throat> when a stormtrooper gets killed. Yeah. Like, yeah. It it felt more violent than I've ever seen Star Wars. Like without blood, of course, because it's PG thirteen and owned mm-hmm. by Disney. But still, like it was it was hardcore for what they could do and it it just felt like visceral and like painful yeah it was it was really intense when you hit people with that stuff yeah definitely one of the most violent moments we've we've seen in in the form of like i think the biggest thing why that one felt so violent was cuz it felt real like it felt very like mm-hmm. like lightsabers you can like you can sort of put it out there right the blasters yeah. but like you could physically see that actually happen, right? So I think that's that sort of added to that sort of element of pure helmet cracking violence. Yeah. Most hardcore way we've like, almost ever seen. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Stormtroopers were packing some weapons though themselves. They had like a little, they had like a, what was it? Like a machine artillery. gun thing, artillery. Yeah. And then they had a the little like, uh, ri- ri- or missile launcher type thing that they were using. That was a, uh, and... Oh, it's a mortar. That's called a mortar. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And that was. I didn't know they were that really Wars. that effective. <laughs> no, that rock scene was funny though. No. Nope. Well, that was hilarious. I loved it. <laughs> and the guy that was that was pretty awesome. Down the rock. Yeah. And it still didn't work. That was just unfortunate. Like that's some that's some stormtrooper. We saw stormtrooper aim, and we saw some stormtrooper dedication in the fact that he thought he was gonna shoot his turret through this big rock that's rolling down. Like he didn't yeah. move. He doesn't ever jump out of the way. He's no. just like, I'm gonna die. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna die. shoot it. I got I'm, it. I got this. It's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it once again shows how useless their armor is. Like they, like not that. They, of course, getting crushed by a boulder is that. But I mean, like. We see good guys get shot all the time, and then like they'll just be shot in the shoulder. A stormtrooper gets shot in the shoulder; they're dead. They just crumple. Yeah, literally. I was. I it's actually like made that suck. comment while I was watching. I was like, "That guy just got shot. Like it almost missed his shoulder, and he just like disintegrated." 
Like, just went down. Literally, you think their armor, like, kills them? Like, they get hit anywhere? Like, their armor doesn't protect them, you know? Maybe it kills them instead, you know? They get hit, they're dead, you know? Maybe? I don't know, it sort yeah. of seems that Maybe way. Maybe it's got, like, shrapnel that comes in with it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. yeah. It's like if you had no, reverse stormtrooper aim, is, like, how their armor works. They can't hit anything, but anything that hits them kills them. I absolutely love that logic. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's yeah, that's Star Wars for you. So, um, <laughs> what what's next? Um, well, most of the episode was that giant. Um, well, we can get to her in a bit, but uh, yep. I guess we should talk about dark troopers. They they come in. We saw oh, yeah, them teased right. a few yep. episodes prior. Yep. And they steal Grogu. They just yep. take him after yeah. Grogu was doing some weird thing on the rock, hopefully reaching out to a Jedi, but. Who knows? Yep. And they just took him. Yeah, that was, I, I don't know what I. Part of me almost expected a little bit more there. Do you know what I mean? I felt like there was a bit mm-hmm. more resistance, you know, from Mando like, or something. Like they we just get through time, they fire a few shots, you know, that type of. They thing. come down, they walk in, they take them, they go. Like it was like. Yeah. St- taking candy from a baby, to be quite honest with you. Which of a baby? But, you know. Literally, literally. Taking a baby from the candy. Wait, that's yeah. not how that works. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, no, like, literally, it was the simple... Yeah, you're right. Like, I expected him to fire a shot or two, maybe try and hit a jetpack. Mm-hmm. But, like, it's how he explains to Boba Fett later when he's in his ship about to attack them. He does not want Grogu to get hurt. And I think he was afraid no. if he fired and knocked them down, Grogu would suffer and maybe die in the crash. Yeah. Yeah, probably. But because he didn't have his jetpack on at that time, so. No, I think that was. So that's a little bit of a foreshadowing because after he puts it down, he does never. It does never come back on until after the fact. Mm-hmm. Right. So that so was. Never have the time to go back. Yeah. For, right. No. That that little scene ended up being a lot more significant than it looked. Mm-hmm. Nope. No. Um. So then we see on Moff Gideon's ship, we see Grogu is kind of captured, but he's using the force kind of like a Sith, and he's cho- or force choking, and he's banging them together using like force pull and push, and he's just wrecking these two stormtroopers like they're nothing. Yep. I think that's the most of force you've yeah. ever seen from Grogu. Like yep. the most he's ever used it in a like like a ten- within a time period. Yep, and with intent. Yes, that, that, that's what I was going to say. Like, he had a purpose. He was using it for attack, not defense. He was... Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, no, I think that was pretty cool. Yep, so did I. I thought that was a little little bit of more development to, into how powerful he actually might be once those powers start to reappear, right? As they start to come back out. Mm-hmm. For sure. Mm-hmm. So, um, like you said, Cara Dune, she does come back in this episode at the very end, yep. where we see they are going to break out the the gun, um, the sharpshooter who yeah. was Wait, in Mayfield? episode six, Mayfield, yes, from last last season, yep. which episode six last from last season was one of my favorites. So I'm excited to see him back. He was kind of funny. Yep. So it looks like next episode is going to be a prison break, but um, that's that's what I'm thinking. Yep. Sure. Me too. That's that's sort of the path we seem to be seem to be heading towards. Maybe a little bit of a shorter, same sort of time period as this one, and then a mm-hmm. big long one in the finale would be yeah. what I'd. Finale I'd, should be long. Sure. That's what I'm thinking. I want it to be like episode one of this season length, yeah. like the finale 50 can't minutes. Be any shorter, like it can't be shorter no. than episode one. There's no reason. Like they could, they wouldn't do that. They have. Well, no I that. mean, they could. But. Yeah, they could. Like I could see them doing like a 40 minute, even. Mm-hmm. 38 minute like they they because like that's the whole thing it's the budget they have to have this because they want to make it movie quality and so that's why but they have all these star wars level special effects like these movie level special effects but the thing is they don't always have the money to make hour-long episodes well they don't because they haven't made a full hour yet because it just costs too much money yeah so i think Hopefully we get a longer one, but who knows? Like they've had some decent length ones already this season. They've had a mostly thirty minute one, but the first episode and there was one that was also forty some minutes. Yep, so they had the... two longer ish episodes. 
third one, I believe. Second third or third episode, one. Yeah, third yeah. one yeah, was the third episode. Yep. Third one. The one where we met Bo-Katan and them. Because yes. episode two, the one in the ice caves with the ice spider, yeah, that was spider. definitely <laughs> the the shortest episode, I'd say. Yeah, that was the... It might so have been, far. Yeah. yeah, it was only 38 minutes. And the that least impactful. One. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That was that was sort of your okay. We gave you a whole bunch in the first one. We're gonna cool it a little bit in the second one to keep you not run out of all our material in the first three episodes. Exactly. So, which literally I think is fair. You gotta do what you do with your. You only have so much story to use. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Uh, again, back to Cara Dune. She she's a, she accepted that badge from the New Republic. Yep. So she's officially. One of their marshals, not just the marshal of Navarro. Yep. But she, um, when she finds out Grogu, or as she knows him, the child has been kidnapped by Moff Gideon, she decides she's willing to break some rules to go save him. So, yep. I, I'm I'm pretty hyped for next episode. I love I love a good oh, prison break. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So much fun. Lots more yeah. action. Lots more potential stormtroopers getting shot. Doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> nope. Kinda, I'm kind of curious about the relationship between like Mayfield and Mando is going to be because you know Manfo, Mando got like locked up, so like he did. I, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Can, like anything could happen, really. Yeah, it's that's that's sort of an underrated aspect that could could really play play a pretty decent decent part because what happens if he breaks him out? He's like, no. Well, I'm not I mean, <laughs> most people are willing to do things when you got a gun to your head so i mean if mando's willing to get a little dirty i think he's which mando can or yep. any w- one of his compatriots like i could see because boba fett and fennec <laughs> are also tagging along as mm-hmm. they are both in debt to mando because they said if you give boba fett back his armor which yep. mando didn't exactly do but they accepted it as him doing it and mando being accepting of it yep. they're they're gonna make sure the child uh, grogu is safe so they're coming with. And I could see Boba Fett putting his gun to um, Mayfield's head and being like, if you oh, don't yeah, do this, sure. you're dead. So, yeah. like, yeah, I exactly. think that's enough to convince anyone, even more than money. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I think I think I forgot to mention earlier that the Razor Crest is officially gone. It's been obliterated. Yeah. To, oh, yeah, we totally skipped where. over that. Yeah, it, it's gone. <laughs> it went yeah, kaboom. The remains was, like, the best car, like, spear staff thing. They yep. got last episode and like the little knob, which might be made of Beskar too. Then, if it survived, like yeah, I think Star it's blast. It's gotta I think, be. I think it's gotta be. I don't. I don't know why. There's no <laughs> reason for it exactly. to be. <laughs> but maybe that's maybe that plays into a little bit into why um, Grogu's so sort of drawn to it since the very beginning. Oh, yeah, for sure, maybe yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So. So, any more theories for next next week, boys? That's, Other than what we prison said, break. prison break, we're going to have a large cast of characters, most likely, yeah. side characters reappearing. Who knows? Maybe we'll even see that new Republic pilot who popped up in two episodes. Yeah, very already. well could. That'd be I cool. think he'll be back. I don't know if he'll be back. He, I feel like he's going to be back, too. With That's... reinforcements, more X-Wings, which <laughs> that doesn't bug me. Which would be welcoming in the finale, yes. for sure. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, I'd love a good hope, space yeah. battle. Yeah. We've had some ground battles. But like Mando's done some one-on-one dogfighting, but it'd be cool to see us like a full-on space battle with like yep. multiple ships, Tie yep. Fighter versus X-wings versus whatever Mando can find to fly. Maybe Start. he's in an X-wing or some hunky, like mm-hmm. some not very good <laughs> ship that he was willing to buy. Yeah. So or Boba Fett's ship, most likely actually. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. So, that's, I mean, that's all my thoughts for this episode. If yep. you guys have any more. I just, I think this one, this one did a really good job of um, keeping us up and down. Like, it did a really good job of having these really high tension moments, but then relieving some of that tension with some comedic moments, which we've sort of sometimes missed out on in other episodes. So, I thought that was, that was a really good, really good touch for this one. Sort of a different aspect to the show than what we've seen in the past. So, that was, that was my big selling point. I really enjoyed this one. Oh yeah, uh, before we go, one more final Easter egg I just remembered, Sweet. but Boba Fett's ship was the same ship he used in the original trilogy, so who knows how he got that back, and from what That's I've heard, also, that was Django's, if yep. I remember correctly, Django Fett's ship cause before him, so his father's ship, so Easter egg for all you other Star Wars fans out there, 
Yep. So yeah, no, I, I'd be interested to hear a story about how he got that ship back and how he made it out of the Sarlacc pit. Cause like, yeah. I, I want to hear that. I don't know. Hopefully next episode he explains it while they're traveling or something. That would be a nice touch. I would, I would enjoy that a little bit of a For sure. storytelling moment. That'd be, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'd enjoy that. So if that's all from you guys, I'd just like to say thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you like this video, like, well, like the video, uh, subscribe. And we've got two more of these left. It's almost the end. So click that bell for notifications about our upcoming videos and when they come out. And from everyone here at the Prairie Grown Reviews team, see you next time.